Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I forgot to unmute myself. <laughs> I'll start again. So, uh, yeah. So, it's the same thing is that in a cerebellum, we always um, divided these are different classifications. Okay? Some people divide it anatomically, uh, people the functional division, so functionally, people the histologically. So, there are three different classifications for, for like how we deal with this. Um, we're going to mention all three. Um, but most importantly for you guys are the functional and the anatomical divisions. Come on. So these two are very important. Functional division or anatomical division. Come on. So when it comes to the anatomical division, it's basically what the cerebellum looks like. So different lobes of it and divisions. Come on. So the anatomically in the superior surface or inferior surface. A third division is histologically. So from a histology point of view, the types of cells you'll find, okay, the... So again, anatomical, functional, or histological. So anatomically, we either look at the cerebellum from a superior surface or an inferior surface. So on the superior surface, we divide the cerebellum into two. We divide them into anterior cerebellum, anterior lobe, sorry, of the cerebellum, the posterior lobe of the cerebellum. Huh? And the anterior lobe and the posterior lobe. The structure that's dividing the anterior and superior um, posterior lobe is my primary fissure. Come on. Yeah, on the superior surface. In the anterior lobe or posterior lobe. So in the primary fissure, it gets similar to so the superior surface, in the primary fissure, with the similar fog, the anterior lobe, the hit, the posterior lobe, I would dam with water. Sorry. So in the anterior lobe, in the posterior lobe. Okay. The anterior is always smaller than the posterior. Tiny. In the other divisions, for the inferior surface, in the flocculus, in the nodule, in the pyramid, well, they're important. The flocculus one nodule, because they form another lobe, it's a moha, flocculonodular lobe. So, yeah, in the important lobes of the cerebellum, in the anterior lobe, with posterior lobe, which are superiorly. We're going to inferiorly a flocular nodular lobe. Come on. Is it clear so far? Okay, great. So we're going to have important lobes there. We have the anterior lobe, the posterior lobe, and the flocular nodular lobe. Yalla. Tani. In the high is my vermis. Okay, so the vermis is the area. The vermis, the vermis. The area is between the uh, between the two the two hemispheres. So in the cerebral, the desert, the right to left, and between it, the vermis. The vermis. Okay. It's just more for, for just an anatomical point of view in the corner of the alvermis, okay? So in the alvermis, which is between the two cerebell, cerebellar hemispheres, so between the right and left, but then in the superior, the anterior with posterior lobe, maximum by the primary fissure, or the posteriorly, uh, sorry, inferiorly, the flocular nodular lobe. Come on. Okay, let me repeat that. Yalla, the flocular which part is it not clear? The map. Okay, the vermis. Okay. Yeah, in the let me um try to clear it up. In the al cerebellum, na, fihu right to left, sah. Al cerebellum fihu right to left. Mosh. Yeah, in the right cerebellum hemisphere, or left cerebellum hemisphere. The brain. Mosh al brain fihu right to left. نفس الحكاية. لكن في النص بين ال right to left in the al vermis. No. يعني هنا عندنا ذيل الرايت واللفت برضو وفي النص بيناته في البرمس يعني البرمس دي الاريا 
القاعدة right between the two hemispheres or right between the right and left cerebellum. طيب يلا حاجة تانية مهمة إنه الفلوكيلونادرين لوب دي ذاتا it's part of the vermis ذاته. So it was part of the vermis on the inferior surface. يعني inferior surface and vermis بيسمع لنا الفلوكيلس. And parts of it هو الفلوكيلس والبيراميد والنودول والوفيلا. عنده four parts. عنده نودول ويوفيلا وفلوكيلس وبيراميد. لكن المهمة المهمين بس اللي هم الفلوكيلس والنودول اللي هم بيسمع لنا الفلوكيلونادرين لوب. Okay, Tom. So the basic function, the division, the anatomical, the anatomical division, Haga. And keep in mind the main and anterior, posterior, or flocculum and radial nodes, lobes. Tom. Uh, the written here in the lobes in the anterior lobe, posterior lobe, blocking and other lobes. The other thing, in the cerebellum, it's connected. Yeah, if you look at the look at the cerebellum, how should cerebellum give us? It's connected to the brain stem or above it, feel brain. No, I did brain stem. I'm sorry for the horrible drawing. In the brain stem. With the brain, with the cerebellum. So, yani if we're assuming this drawing is accurate, yalla, the cerebellum is connected to the brainstem by three structures. So, the three structures they we call them peduncles or cerebellar peduncles. Okay, the superior cerebellar peduncle. في inferior middle cerebellar peduncle وفي inferior cerebellar peduncle طيب يلا ال peduncles ذيل they basically are يعني زي tracts واحد so they carry tracts تمام لكن it's important for you to know هذا ال S right now is which one connects to which structure يعني ال superior peduncle connects to the midbrain while the middle connects to the pons, while the inferior connects to the middle lobe. Same order, the brain stem. You know, the brain stem is the midbrain, and the muscle pons, and the middle lobe. So, we have the cerebellum connects to the brain stem through three cerebellar peduncles. The superior, the middle, and the inferior. Okay, I'll repeat. Um, the here answer questions. Uh, someone was asking about what the uvula is. It's just part of a structure for the vermis data. I think we don't really care about it much functionally. So for the vermis, the ones that are really important are the flocculus or nodules. Right. The question on the other was asking about the peduncles. The peduncles, are basically they are connections between the cerebellum and the brainstem. Come on. Who do what? Who fit track? Right, attract to Jude. We'll talk about it later. But right now, the cerebellum and the brainstem are connected through the cerebellar peduncles. There, okay? So they're three. There's a superior peduncle between the cerebellum and the midbrain. The middle between the cerebellum and the pons, and the inferior between the cerebellum and the medulla. Make sense? Yeah, and there are basically connections between the cerebellum and the brainstem. Yeah. Here's a... 
drawing of the peduncles وهم جواهم فيها تراكس لكن التراكس اللي جواها دي احنا we're not gonna talk about them yet هنيجي رايحين للسلايد دي بعدين تمام so we'll talk about the tracts that are in each peduncle later on for now all you gotta know is that there's three peduncles superior middle and inferior وانه كل واحده connects to the brain stem كيف تمام نجي للفنكشنال ديفيجن اوف ذا برين اوف ذا سيربلم يلا فانكشنالي السيربلم از جونا بي ديفايد زي البرين واحد انه في جراي ماتر وفي وايت ماتر تمام سو في جراي ماتر ووايت ماتر الوايت ماتر از بيزيكلي فايبرز كونكتينج بارتس والجراي ماتر از بيزيكلي نيوكليار تمام سو يعني عندنا جراي ماتر عندنا وايت ماتر بس احنا دايما نتكلم اكتر حاجه عن الجراي ماتر، طيب؟ الجراي ماتر فيه اثنين، في كورتكس وفي نيوكلياي. يعني if this is the cerebellum, let me draw a picture. If this is the cerebellum, عندنا part. Nope. Sorry. عندنا part يكون قاعد هنا كده حوالينا، لكن برا هو كورتكس، تمام؟ وفي الوايت ماتر في النص طيب في الكورتكس ده جراي ماتر طيب في تاني جراي ماتر اتس انسايد ذا وايت ماتر يعني جوا اسمه الديب سيربلر نيوكلياي تمام يعني انا ريبيت الكلام ده ان الجراي ماتر الجراي ماتر هو بيزيكلي السيل بوديز حقت النيرفز رايت سو اف وي هاف نيرفز ان ذا نيرف ان ذا بيكون سيل بودي واكزن رايت السيل بودي بيكون جراي ماتر وعلى الاكزن بيكون وايت ماتر تمام يعني السيل بودي از وير يو جنريت الانفورميشن وير يو ميكينج ذا ديسيجنز وعلى الاكزن از جاست ترانسفيرينج ات اور ترانسبورتينج ات صح يلا الاكزن دي هم الوايت ماتر والسيل بودي هم الجراي ماتر اذا بيكونوا قاعدين في الكورتكس يعني اراوند السيربلم في الارياز البرة اور Four collections of gray matter. It's called a deep cerebellar nuclei. It can be the jewel in the white matter. Entony. يعني the deep cerebellar nuclei are found in an area where usually it's only white matter. Ah, قاعدة جوا. The rest of the nuclei are all around the cortex. Entony, we don't need to repeat it. يعني شنو نحن عندنا الجراي ماتر تمام؟ الجراي ماتر ده it is a cell bodies حقت النيوكليار حقت النيرف يعني احنا عندنا السربلم ده هو شغله زي البرين صح؟ اخو البرين so it works like the brain فعندنا دائما النيرفز النيرفز ده في السيل بودي حقه والاكزن حقه السيل بودي بيصنع الانفورميشن والاكزن بس بيعملوا ترانسبورتنج السيل بودي بنسميه جراي ماتر والاكزن بنسميه وايت ماتر تمام؟ يلا الجراي ماتر ده هو قاعد يوجولي في الكورتكس اللي هو حوالين السرب السيربلم يعني ما جوا السيربلم برا في الاطراف in the borders of the cerebellum while the white matter is usually found in the middle تمام يلا في another type of gray matter that's found to do which is basically called a deep cerebellar nuclei which are four structures هما gray matter لكن ما قاعدين في الكورتكس قاعدين جوا في السيربلم فهمتيني اوكي تمام يلا الديب سيربلر نيكلاي المفروض انت تعرفوا their names هم عندنا dentate nucleus emboliform nucleus globose nucleus و vestigial nucleus تمام يعني اربعة dentate emboliform Globals, vestigial. تمام. يلا we're gonna mention them تاني جيل. بعدين. آخر حاجة I think I said إنه ال عندنا ال gray matter usually بيكون في الكورتيك. لكن we have some gray matter that's found inside ال جزء في النص. Not in the cortex. وديل بنسميهم a deep cerebellar nuclei. So there are four nuclei قاعدة جوا في الديب ما قاعدة برا في الكورتكس تمام؟ هم أربعة الدنتيت 
الامبوليفورم الجلوبوس والفاستيجيل تمام يعني اربعه ديال you supposed to know their names who few more information later on تمام so عندنا الدنتي امبوليفورم جلوبوس وفاستيجيل الوايت ماتر right now all I want you to know is that it's in the center it's formed of axons تمام يعني it's the axons and it's white matter تمام قاعد في center of the cerebellum we're gonna be talking about the classification حق the white matter later on لكن for now the gray matter فيهم تو انه هو يا يكون في الكورتكس cortex برا او يكون for nuclei جوا اللي هما الدلتيت والامبوليفورم الجلوبوز والفاستيجيل تمام والوايت ماتر بيكون جوا Kind of histologically, yeah, but histologically is not that important, yeah. Honestly, kida, and honestly, I know you're gonna do it again. The man, you take the histology, have the have the CMS. I'm not gonna go too detailed into it. But in the three layers, a layer the better than the man molecular layer. The layer is called Purkinje layer. The layer is called granular layer. Am I? So three layers: molecular, Purkinje, granular. Each layer فيها cells. The molecular layer فيها stellate cells or basket cells. While the Purkinje layer فيها Purkinje cells. While the granular layer فيها granule cells or Golgi cells. I'll just write them out here. So في molecular, the molecular فيها stellate and basket cells. Okay. في the Purkinje layer. في هالبركين دي سوس وفي الجرانيولر لير في هالجرانيول سوس and gold دي سوس تمام يعني عندنا three layers واللير كله لير فيها specific type of cells تمام واللير ذا كلهم بيشتغلوا سوا to either inhibit or stimulate a function تمام؟ يعني for now أعرف إنه عندنا three layers molecular, perkinje, granular. And they are three layers that connect مع بعض ومع مع nerves جاي من برا. تمام؟ and nerves دي كلها سوا they either inhibit or stimulate um the body. يعني I'll دقيقة. You know إنه the cerebellum is function حقته is to coordinate, صح? So it's coordination. How does it do this coordination? It basically does it by, you know, it either tells specific cell, uh, and it tells the body, do this function or don't do this function. So it either inhibits or it either stimulates, صح? فأ stimulation and inhibition وكده كله بيحصل عن طريق ال three layers ده اللي هو molecular, superconducting granular layers. تمام؟ يعني بيكون في synapses with them so either um, either to give them signal from the give signal من من ال من ال brain أو من ال spinal cord it'll synapse with these cells and then in the end it'll take out a signal برضو uh -huh. yeah we can imagine in the beginning if you want to move your arm for example so your brain is gonna tell a layers then You know this person wants to move their arm, so they'll do the function, and then they'll tell a nerve the jai berdi. This is how you move your arm, and that's how you move your arm without knocking anything over. Any film Tony? I call the layers there. The function of them is to either inhibit or stimulate. I let us in them to balance your your movement. That's it. Okay, great. Right. Right. Yellow, this is an, a really long drawing of the cells and how they connect together, Kida. Um, I'll delete the page. Right. And this is a more accurate histological layer of cell of how the layers go in the layers, Danny, Regina. 
innervation min berra and I will meet the cells there. They all interact together. Yalla. The question is asking, like, do you guys need to know which ones are stimulatory and which ones are inhibitory? I'm honestly not sure. Like, I'm not sure if your teacher was going into details, but or not. Like, you know, for us, we didn't really need to know the details. We just have to know ourselves, you know. Like, when we did physiology, we did have to know. Like, if we, at the, um, anatomy, I don't remember it ever asking. Okay, thank you. That's good. Because, <laughs> like, I remember in we did it in details for histology, for physiology, but I don't remember doing it in details for neuro. But thank you. That's all you need to know in the three layers there, Max and Thank you. طيب يلا أهم واحدة من الثلاثة هم البركنجي أوكي ليه لأن البركنجي هم they're the ones that في النهاية they tell the body what to do أوكي يعني هم أهم واحدين البركنجي ده they will يعني بعد ما جات ال 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 impulses أو ال afferent um, innervation ده البركنجي is gonna like process it and then it'll give it to the um, sorry let me repeat Al-Perkinji, Ma'ahu, and other cells there, they're going to give it to the deep cerebellar nuclei. So, a deep cerebellar nuclei are inhibitory. And then, it will give the spinal cord. Again, let me repeat, that was very confusing. Al-Perkinji cells there, they basically decide in the end, whether it's going to be inhibitory or stimulatory. And if it's inhibitory, أو they're deciding how much inhibition should happen بتديه للديب سيربلر نيوكلير يعني most of the axons حقت السيربلم في النهاية بتمشي للديب سيربلر نيوكلير and then after that they leave the cerebellum they can also go to the vestibular, vestibular nuclear to go to the spinal cord طوالي تمام يعني in the two options either من البركنجي نمشي للفستيبيولر and then نمشي spinal cord I will name she a deep cerebellar and then she spinal cord. Look at Leco. In the simplest way possible. In the Perkinji cells, the function hagatum is basically they're going to coordinate. Okay, and Perkinji is function hagatum is basically the frame. Yeah, they're going to coordinate. And then when Hinyaka, they decide where the cells are going to go. They either go to the vestibular nuclei, which is basically, you know, in the vestibular nuclei, so they either coordinate with the vestibular nuclei to go out as vestibular spinal tract. Or they're going to go to the deep cerebellar nuclei, which are going to be the four of them. And then from the four, they're going to go to the cerebellum, the brain stem, the spinal cord, and so on. Okay, let me say it again. يلا عندنا ال innervation صح جاتنا ال impulse المفروض نعمل حاجة يعني مثلا to to walk بيقوم بعد ذاك ال movement دي بتخش لل layers حقت ال cerebellum اللي هم ال ال three layers في النهاية بتصل لل perkinji layer تمام يعني هي أهم layer ال perkinji cells there بعد ذاك they synapse تمام they either synapse مع the vestibular nuclei اللي هي في which is responsible for balance وبعد ذاك يمشي the spinal cord by حاجة اسمها the vestibular spinal tract أو يمشي the deep cerebellar nuclei اللي هم الأربعة اللي قلناهم قبل اللي هم the dentate والembolyform والglobals والفاستيجيال وبعد ذاك من the deep cerebellar nuclei يمرق من the cerebellum تمام؟
Okay, thank you. Great. Right. Hello, we're gonna now talk about the white matter. Yani magma. We basically understood green matter so we should And the gray matter is basically what's making all the decisions. And white matter sholo is to transfer decisions. And white matter in the minute fihu intrinsic or local fibers, fihu efferent, fihu afferent, efferent, afferent, intrinsic. And intrinsic, it's very simple sholo. Sholo in Imshi inside the cerebellum. So when hit the jewel cerebellum, they hit the jewel cerebellum. Yani from the cerebellum to the cerebellum. Bimshi when bimshi mina mina perkinji. The deep cerebellar nuclei. So the connection will go neck bell. Oh, of course I can repeat. Sure. One second. Let me go back. So the last thing I want to say is that the gray matter. الفونكشن حقته is to basically make a decisions تمام so it's the gray matter صح it makes the decisions so it receives this information the information that get low for example move your leg okay so it'll decide then after that does it inhibit does it um, stimulate طبعا obviously in all scenarios you're both inhibiting and stimulating so you're inhibiting some muscles stimulating some muscles so for example if you were to walk you're gonna try to inhibit some compartments of your lower limb and stimulate some compartments of your lower limb. Listen, what you're trying to flex your knee, you're gonna inhibit an, an, an extension compartment who stimulate a flexor, a flexor compartment. You know I mean? In all situations, you're gonna be inhibiting and stimulating. Like you inhibit parts, you stimulate parts. So we go with Alperkinji fiber there. It decides which muscles are going to be inhibited, which muscles are going to be stimulated. And then after that, it tells the body. It tells it tells the vestibular nuclei. It basically handles balance and it goes to the spinal cord. And it also gives it in uh, um, innervation how al decision that the deep cerebellar nuclei, which are going to be inhibitory, and they're going to go out. The cerebellum, and it takes them all in the vestibular or deep inhibitory nuclei, and they're both gonna make decisions. Be so, A white matter, what does it do? A white matter is responsible for the connections, bizata, that go out of the cerebellum and any connections inside the cerebellum. So, in the white matter, intrinsic, efferent, or afferent. Come on. And intrinsic, or wahda, are inside the cerebellum. So, they're from a place in the cerebellum to another place in the cerebellum. And they're actually. From the Purkinji, the deep cerebellar nuclei. So, the information from the Purkinji to the deep cerebellar are by the intrinsic fibers. So, intrinsic then, dual cerebellum. مع cerebellum زاد. في تاني, efferent to afferent. The afferent, or also known as input fibers, then they're coming from somewhere else to the cerebral. So, they're gaining من برا cerebral. I mean, but the cerebellum also, the cerebellum, come on. So, for example, they can be from the brain, from the spinal cord. These are the use, or from the brain stem, come on. So they're from the brain, spinal cord, or brain stem to the cerebellum. Now, if we turn it efferent, our output fibers, they're from the cerebellum to anywhere outside the cerebellum, which is to the brain, 
the spinal cord and so on فهمتوا and brain cells صح يعني ال intrinsic fibers are اصلا من من جوا السيربيلم لجوا السيربيلم لكن ال afferent from the somewhere outside to the cerebellum well efferent from the cerebellum somewhere outside تمام are we good تمام يلا um. طيب يلا بعد ذاك احنا we're supposed to نخش شوية details the details are that we're supposed to know the afferent fibers شنو or the efferent fibers شنو and I'll try to simplify it as much as possible if you can't remember all of them remember some of them I think you have to know which ones are afferent which ones are efferent تمام يلا نبدأ بالafferent طيب يلا الafferent في أهم واحدة طيب فهذا اسمه كورتيكو بونتو سيربيلر تراكت طيب يلا الكورتيكو بونتو سيربيلر تراكت ده بيجي من البرين بيمشي البونس ومن البونس بيمشي السيربيلم تمام سو الامبلس الجاي من البرين اي امبلس بيجي من البرين حيمشي من البرين من البونس للسيربيلم اللي كده بنسميه كورتيكو بونتو سيربيلر تراكت طيب وده أهم واحد يوم is like it's any control جاي من البرين طيب most of the controls are جاي من البرين so من البرين للبونس للسيربيلر اللي كده بنسميه كورتيكو بونتو سيربيلر تراكت في تاني other ones يعني في واحدين ما بس من ال من البرين للبونز السيربيلم في واحد من البرين لل I think mid brain هذا السيربيلم تمام اللي هو اسمه سيريبرو أوليفو سيربيلر طيب يعني before it goes يعني it goes from the brain للأوليفري نيوكليس في البرين ستم and then للسيربيلم تمام يعني بدل ما يمشي من البرين للبونز للسيربيلم يمشي من البرين للأوليفري نيوكليس للسيربيلم في تاني واحد اسمه سيريبرو ريتيكيلو سيربيلر not that important بيمشي ريتيكيلر فورميشن أول حتى للسيربيلم تمام يعني الإمبلس الجاي من البرين للسيربيلم بتجي في ثلاثة سيريبرو بونتو سيربيلر أو سيريبرو أوليفروس أوليفو سيربيلر أو سيريبرو ريتيكيلو سيربيلر تمام ذي الفايبرز ذي اللي انترينج السيربيلم is it clear في تاني فايبرز جاي من السبينال كورد للسيربيلم اللي هم التهيت الاثنين ديل اسمه سبينو سيربيلر تراكت تمام يلا السبينو سيربيلر شو حاجه مهمه يو نيد تو نو انه في انتيرير سبينو سيربيلر وفي بوستيرير سبينو سيربيلر يلا الانتيرير سبينو سيربيلر كروسز Okay, I'll repeat the third one. So the third one here, and it was cerebral reticular cerebellar, bimshi mina cerebrum, so mina brain, to the reticular formation in the brainstem, then to the cerebellum. No? It's not the most important one, like in it's barely as important as the folder like me. Got it? نرجع للسبينو سيربيلر يلا انه السبينو سيربيلر تراكت ده هم تراكت جاي من السبينو كورد للسيربيلم طيب عندنا فيهم اثنين انتيرير وبوستيرير يلا الحاجه المهمه فيهم انه الانتيرير بيعمل كروسنج قبل ما يخش السيربيلم لكن البوستيرير بيخش عادي يعني انلايك التراكت الثانيه دي كلها بيحصل كروسنج اوفر يعني الانتيرير الرايت انتيرير سبينو سيربيلر بيخش في اللفت سيربيلر هيمسفير والleft anterior بخش في الright أيوة 
they're كلهم afferent يعني ال afferent bills usually كلهم they don't cross except for the anterior spinous cerebellar it'll cross to the other side then enter تمام very good تمام 